This classic Eggs Benedict is perfect for breakfast or brunch. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with these. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. Eggs Benedict is not complete without a creamy hollandaise sauce. To make the hollandaise sauce, we're gonna go in with four egg yolks. Just gonna crack them up and separate the yolk from the whites. And you can use the egg whites to make a healthy breakfast the next day. For a hint of acidity, we're gonna go in with half a tablespoon of white wine vinegar. And this is gonna to help to bind the sauce together. And a dash of salt. Can always adjust the salt later and just a little about 1 8 teaspoon of sugar and a key component of hollandaise sauce is butter and we're going to go in with half a stick of butter which is approximately 115 grams now let's go over to the stove and bring our hollandaise sauce together on a medium heat we're going to melt the butter you could always use softened butter to make the hollandaise sauce and add it cube by cube but i prefer adding melted butter okay our butter has melted so we're going to switch off the heat and you're going to skim off the milk solids that comes to the surface. Now that we've skimmed off the milk solids, let's keep the butter aside and put the egg yolks on a double boiler. Once you have a simmering pot of water, you're going to place your heat proof bowl on the top. Make sure that the bowl is not touching the water. And now we're going to whisk the eggs and we're going to whisk them vigorously till they thicken up a bit and we incorporate some air into them. We want them to turn lighter and get a creamy gloss. Now that the eggs have thickened up and turned a little paler in color, we're going to start streaming in the butter about two tablespoons at a time and we're going to whisk vigorously so that the butter and the egg yolks emulsify and we get a homogeneous mixture. Keep the heat of the stove on low while you do this. And now the last of the butter. And now we're going to keep whisking it till the sauce thickens and it's able to coat the back of a spoon. Now the hollandaise sauce is looking perfect. We're going to take it off the heat and season it a little bit more. We're going to flavor it with a pinch of white pepper, pinch of cayenne pepper, just about half a teaspoon of lemon juice. Now let's whisk this and bring it all together. Wow, this is looking amazing. And you know you've perfected hollandaise sauce when it coats the back of a spoon and it has a lovely shine to it. Hollandaise sauce has a tendency to thicken up and so that it maintains its consistency, we're going to go and keep it back on the pot of warm water without putting on the heat. But if you find that it has still thickened up, you can always add in about a tablespoon of warm water and give it a mix. To poach the eggs, we have a little trick. You're going to take fresh eggs, you're going to crack it and you're going to place the egg in a small sieve. Now you'll notice that there's a stream of a liquid falling down and that's the watery substance in the egg white that creates all that messy look when you go to poach eggs. Now that's all the excess and we don't need that so we're going to take it out and now we're going to transfer the egg into another bowl before we drop it into the hot water. We're going to bring a pot of water to a rolling boil. Make sure to lower the heat otherwise when you drop the egg in it's going to explode inside. And now we're going to add about a tablespoon of white vinegar to it and give it a swirl. We're going to swirl the water around to create a vortex. Once that water is swirling over there, you're going to drop the egg right into it and watch how well the egg is going to come together. And now you'll find that the egg will start dancing in the water and we're going to allow it to poach for three minutes. So three minutes is up and now we're going to use a skimmer or you could use a slotted spoon and we're going to take out the poached egg and place it on a kitchen paper towel to absorb the excess water. Now let's create another vortex to put in the second egg. Make sure to always put the egg in a bowl before putting it in. Don't put it straight from the strainer because the egg white could get stuck to the strainer and solidify and then the egg won't come out and get into the water. Can you see how clear the water looks? That's because we drain out all that excess liquid from the egg white. And our second poached egg is ready. And here's a little trick. If you want to make poached eggs for a crowd, 
You can put the eggs in advance and then dunk it in cold water to shock them and put it back into the warm water just for 30 seconds so that it warms up before you serve it. Eggs Benedict is traditionally made with Canadian bacon and Canadian bacon is already cooked but we're just going to give it a little bit of more flavor by putting it into a skillet with a little bit of butter to it. And now we're going to allow it to cook on one side till it gets a little color then we're going to flip it over and allow it to cook on the other side. Okay, the bacon has got fried well on both sides. So we're gonna take it out and place it on a kitchen paper towel. It ain't Eggs Benedict without the traditional English muffin. So we're gonna take one of the muffins and then we're gonna slit it in the center. And now we're gonna take another one and cut that as well. Now we're going to go in with the same pan we used to fry up the bacon so that we get up all those flavors that have been left behind by the bacon. And we're going to add just a small knob of butter. And now we're going to place the bread cut side down and we're going to toast them till they get a little color on that side. You want to toast the bread so that it becomes nice and firm and it doesn't get soggy once you start plating it. Now let's take out the bread and place it on a plate. To plate it, we're going to take one toasted English muffin and we're going to go in with two slices of the Canadian bacon and we're going to top it with the poached egg. Now let's spoon on some of that hollandaise sauce that we prepared. And we're going to finish it off with some finely chopped chives. Oh my goodness! Look at that! And now it's time to give the Eggs Benedict a taste. Wow, I'm really excited. Just gonna cut that there. So get some of that egg and we want the bacon and the English muffin. And all that hollandaise sauce. Mm. Oh my goodness, that hollandaise sauce is absolutely delicious and the eggs are poached to perfection. All the flavors are coming together so well and I'm really hoping that this is going to be my Mother's Day treat for breakfast. And my daughter's recording this video so I'm sure she can hear it. I'm expecting to get breakfast in bed and if you want to enjoy it as much as I do, hop onto my website platingitwithwendy.com where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.